One day, all that will change. You think you can do that with an atomic bomb? Now it's you who surprised me. Well, radioactive readings are fascination with our C4. You're just mentioning this now? It just came to me when he said one day all that will change. I assume you're hoping our C4 will solve your supercriticality problem. Will it? It might. Depends on your designs. There's a host of other considerations. You know how to make an A-bomb. Major, most of my high school chess team could design an A-bomb. The actual hard part is having sufficient fissionable materials of appropriate grade. And we do. You do? The Janai were once a great confederation of planets. Millennia ago, but the Wraith had driven us to the brink of total annihilation. Our forefathers sought the protection of bunkers such as these, originally created for wars long forgotten. And it was here that a small number of our people managed to survive undetected. Over the course of many, many years, generation after generation, we have made technological developments here in secret. So the whole farmer thing is just a front. So the wraith do not suspect. More than that. We do have many mouths to feed below. I want to show you something. Come with me. Oh, that thing you so carelessly threw on the table, can I uh, take that along? Come. Stay as you are. Down below are military trains as our scientists create weapons for them. With our atomic weapon, we believe we finally have what we need to defeat the Wraith once and for all. You do realize that long-term exposure to these levels of radiation is extremely dangerous. Our scientists tell me otherwise. Well, they're wrong. Are we in danger now? I would take days or weeks at these levels of radiation, but I assume the Janai spend days or weeks down here? Many of our people have spent their entire lives here. Their entire short lives. We'll be fine, just uh, as long as you weren't planning on having children. Well, you're on the right track. We're about 60 years ahead of you. That is, if you survive. This shielding is woefully inadequate. Now, uranium. How much do you have? Much more. There was no one in your weapons, Greg. We have had problems in our purifying efforts. The molecular structure of the unwanted material is very similar to that of the desired material. Diffusion, you need to separate the 235 from the 238. When you remove the barrier between two substances, the slight difference in their mass causes them to separate at different rates. You could do this? Of course, I just... What method did your people use to initiate fission reaction in your prototype devices? Well, there's two different approaches, actually. Uh, implosion and uh, gun-type bomb. Both are designed to create a supercritical mass, obviously. Obviously. Either way you go, you need an amount of refined 235 uh, roughly equivalent to the size of uh, my fist. Or his fist, actually. Well, our dreams may soon be a reality. With your help, before the next culling, we plan to vaporize the wraith as they sleep. We haven't even started yet. I can get your program right back on schedule. How? I built an atomic bomb for my grade six science fair exhibit. They let you do that over Canada? Well, I wasn't a working model. Still, I was questioned for six hours by the CIA, who believed I was part of a secret preteen organization. Actually, it led to my first job. The spherical encasement directs the explosive forces inward, and the resulting implosion creates uh, extreme compression. Subcritical mass becomes supercritical. Ingenious. I know. And can you believe I didn't even win the science fair? So, the practical adaptation of available equipment and resources will be the real challenge. You're destined to become a hero among our people, Dr. McKay. Right. 